Trixie Pets, and today I'm going to show you how to cut your dog's nails. Before we begin, I want to give you a couple tips and tricks to make this a better experience for both you and your dog. First, treats and praise. You really want to make this a positive experience for your dog. They're not going to really ever love it, but they'll know that they made you happy because you're giving them treats and lots of love and excited that he's letting you do this. Next, ask for help. Um, they can be wiggly, they can try and pull their little feet away, so it's good to have someone there to help hold them, rub their ears, kind of comfort them. Next, nail clippers. You need a good pair of nail clippers. These are Millage Forge brand and they're my favorite. I also like the style of nail clipper with the plier. It makes it a lot easier to be able to cut any way that you can. Um, that's possible that the dog's letting you cut. Lastly, septic powder. This is only if you quick the nail, um, you cut it too short, the nail will bleed. You want some tissues, grab the tissue, dot the blood, get it so it's um, as dry as possible, and then get a moist cotton ball and just put it in there, grab the powder, and hold it on the nail that is bleeding for about a minute or so. Um, now I'm going to go grab Bruin so we can get started. Okay, everyone, this is my dog Bruin. And as you can see, I put them up on this grooming table here. If you don't have one, um, you can use your dining room table, a washing machine, the counter. Um, if it's a slippery surface, just put a towel down so they don't slip. Um, I'm going to first show you the best way to get at the nails and to look to be able to see. And then we'll do a close-up where you see me actually cutting the nails. First, they don't have a rotator cuff like we do, so their legs cannot go out this way as far as, say, ours can. So it's best to just keep their leg straight back, and I look down on it this way. When you're clipping the nail, I will explain to you and show you how you can see where the quick actually ends this way. Now for the back nails, kind of the same thing, just pull it straight back like this, and you'll be able to clip the nails. Okay, now we're going to do a close-up. Okay, I'm going to start with one of his back feet. And again, just going to pick it up and hold it like this. I like to grab the pad and partially put my finger on the nail that I'm going to be clipped. Gives me more support and helps these do a nice clean cut. Here is the quick, that part inside the nail. This is the outer part of the nail. You don't want to... Um, clip into the quick, that is what is going to make him bleed. Well, I'll break away. Okay. Now. He doesn't have too much on his back nail, so I'm just going to have to take a little bit off. Just take a little at a time. It's the very tip, as you can see. That looks all pretty white still on the inside, so I'm going to take just a little bit more off. And once the inside starts getting darker, you know you're getting closer to the quick. So that dark center right there. Again, there's the dark center. Any further and I'd probably quit them. Stay, you're away. He's a very good boy. He's used to this. And one more. Alright. Good boy, Ruru. Now I'm going to show you on one of the front feet. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do it on the front foot, just so you see. Um, just to, Again, it's on the other foot, and he has a little bit more to take off on his front feet. And they do have, he does have a dew claw. Go make sure to check. Some have them in the front and back, some just in the front, some just in the back. So just make sure to check for those, because this can get really curly. If your dogs are really curly, you might need to use some cat nail clippers in order to get into there. These, you can't really get inside with the opening of these. So just grab some cat nail clippers and you can get them that way. Again, that black dot in the center of his nail shows that the quick is right there. Yeah, nicely fresh cut nails. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Also, subscribe, because there will be many more videos to come. And...
Thank you. Say thank you, Ruin.